Time now for the Friend Zone, one of our favorite segments where we invite our friends from within the building here at Fox onto the show. And tonight we are joined by the permanently effervescent and awesome Janice Dean, the weather machine. <laughs> Janice, I never hold you responsible for temperatures, but this, I may have to break the rule because it is cold. Is it's, it cold everywhere? Well, yes. Uh, the dreaded, what they call the polar vortex, which has been there since the beginning of the atmosphere. But sometimes part of that polar vortex comes and visits, visits us here in the U.S. And that's what's happening right now. We've got very cold temperatures, uh, especially for December. We're actually flirting with record temperatures, record lows. So we've got this large upper level circulation. This has always been there called the polar vortex. And sometimes some of that cold air breaks off and influences our weather here in the lower 48 and that's exactly what's happening right now and the dangerous part of this trucker is the wind chill so wind chills minus 20 minus 30 degrees that's got people nervous obviously and you should need to be indoors yeah. you need to be checking on the elderly and making sure your kids are inside where it's warm the other part of this is we've got a big winter storm that is going to affect travel not only today but Saturday and Sunday so people need to be aware of this because 38 states are currently under winter weather advisory so this is going to be a big deal not only snow, we could see severe weather tomorrow across the southern states and freezing rain and ice. So uh, delays at the airports, huh. cancellations, it's going to be happening. I know a lot of people are traveling, so just pay attention to your local May I just ask you a quick question before I get to the personal stuff? Of course. Is polar vortex a legitimate meteorological term or it is, is it just something that we use yes, in TV? Yes, it's oh, been oh, there yeah. since the beginning of the atmosphere. If you look into the AMS uh, digest, Polar vortex has always been there. It got popular in 2014 when uh, one of our fellow meteorologists brought it up, and it, you know, it was a catchphrase and it caught on. But I think, you know, it was misused a little bit because it was like yeah. the polar vortex is coming to eat the U.S. <laughs> and it's always <laughs> been there. So that's, you know, we use it. I like to use it, but properly, it's it's a little bit of the polar vortex that's always been there since the beginning of the atmosphere. So it's real, unlike say superstorm. <laughs> well, that's another okay. segment. No, I know that's another segment. So I know from working with you for many years that you were not always a meteorologist. You had another career before that. What was it? for our Jeopardy uh, segment tonight. Yes, I was a classic rock DJ. Actually, I've done a lot of DJing in my days right out of college. <laughs> there I am with the hair and not a lot of makeup, but you know, uh, right out of college, I had a professor who was at the local rock station there, and he thought I would be a great community events reporter. And this is my community events reporter days. Things like, you know, teddy bear picnics and poutine <laughs> eating contests in Canada. Uh, so this is what I did uh, in my early 20s. and. Unbelievably, I got to meet these rock stars because I decided I didn't want to just be a community events reporter. I wanted to get on the air and like play some tunes and some Led Zeppelin and Peter Frampton oh, and whoa, Aerosmith. So I got to meet all of these rock stars and it was such a great experience. It was, I mean, listen, my job here at Fox is the coolest job I've ever had. But back then in my 20s, being, you know, a classic rock DJ, meeting all of these great rock stars, that was cool too. But I have to say, being with you on the friend zone, Tucker Carlson, that beats everything. <laughs> it's, a, it's a highlight for me. You are walking amphetamine for me. You just oh, I adore you. you. And congratulations and, on this. You're doing oh, so you. well in the ratings, and I am so appreciative of you and your support over the years. I adore you and your wife and your whole family. Well, thank you, Janice. And you've just confirmed that people do, in fact, eat poutine, which I appreciate. Oh, I've yes, we do. That. I will bring some. <laughs> no, no, it's no, really please. good. <laughs> Have fun at your Christmas party tonight. I love thank you, you, Janice. You're Merry the best. Christmas. Thank you.